Hello everyone, welcome to Apache Edge 4 minute videos for developers. In this video, we're going to see how to secure your APIs against payload attacks where someone is trying to send large payloads and try to pin down the service. We're going to see how to do that using JSA Threat Protection Policy. Myself, Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apache Edge account. You can sign up at apache.com slash edge. You need basic understanding of Apache API proxy. For that, you can refer earlier 4 minute video. Let's see how to secure APIs against payload attacks in Apache Edge. Let's say a client is sending a JSON payload with too many parameters and trying to create some load on the backend and trying to print on the backend. So how do you secure your backend against payload attacks? You can do that using Apache Edge JSON Threat Production Policy. And whenever payload exceeds certain limits, Apache can able to intercept that and send back the response back to the client before even the data reaches the backend and tries to bring down the backend server. Let's see JSON Threat Protection Policy in example in Apache Edge. As you can see, I'm logged in into Apache Edge. Let's try to create a simple uh, proxy which does a post call. So I'm trying to create a proxy. Click on press proxy button. Choose reverse proxy. I'm going to give the proxy name as echo post and give the existing API as http colon slash slash http bin dot org slash post. Click next. Choose authorization as pass through. Click next. Choose the default virtual host. Select the deployment environment as test. Build and deploy. Once proxy is deployed, let's see the uh, proxy in action. Go to develop. So this is the proxy endpoint. I can take the proxy endpoint. Let's make an API call. Start the test session. As you can see, I am trying to mimic an attacker who is trying to send a large number of payload uh, attributes. And then when I click on send, as you can see, the response comes back. Uh, since it's an echo response, it just displays whatever information that we sent. Let's see how to prevent this kind of uh, payload attacks using Apache Edge. Let's say our post request accepts max of five object elements. Let's try to do that. Go back to develop. Click on preflow. Click on plus step. And then add JSON thread production policy. As you can see here, there are various attributes. So let's see uh, the maximum object entries allowed. So I'm going to remove the elements which are unnecessary. As you can see, there is a property called object entry count. Let's set it to five. That means only five objects are allowed to reach to the backend server. Let's save your API proxy. Go back to trace. Restart the trace session. As you can see here, if I try to send more than five object parameters, now Apache should intercept and uh, give back an error. As you can see now, uh, the proxy uh, came back with an error response saying that execution failed because exceeded object entry at line number seven. Let's try to remove elements. Let's try to send only five elements to backend. Now this call should success and give 200 response. As you can see now it succeeded and gave 200 response. You can able to see same even in the trace as you can see the first request we sent more than five parameters where that production kicked in and the second and third request we sent uh, uh, five parameters which is allowed and uh, the API request can able to reach the packet. So that's how you can able to secure APIs against uh, JSON payload attacks. There are again various elements available. For example, as you can see in Apache documentation, if you do not want to allow more than uh, a specified array elements uh, inside a particular object, you can use this particular attribute. If you do not want to have a payload with more than three container depth, then you can use this element. If you want to restrict the string value or if you want to restrict the object name, then you can use uh, these parameters. Hope it's helpful for you. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to post your questions in commit.apache.com. Please subscribe to YouTube channel to get notified for any future videos and uh, share the videos and help spread the word. Thank you for watching this video.